guys! Welcome to episode 3 of Mommy Mondays. And today, ang topic natin, another requested video is traveling with a baby or a toddler. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna be talking about my or our experience flying with um, with a baby or a toddler. So, yung traveling na... Uh, um, pinag-uusapan natin dito is flight, okay? So, kasi iba yung through land travel, iba yung flight. So, um, Zeb is now 16 months old and he has been into 7 flights with us, all in different um, ages. So, yung first flight niya, he was just two and a half months, that is from um, Philippines to here in Singapore. He was two and a half months and Nung bumalik kami, he was already 4 months. So, um, yung during that stage, it was an easy flight because baby pa sila. They cannot go anywhere. Um, madali, silang, madali pa silang ipacify pag gutom. Especially kung breastfeed, breastfeeding kayo or, or your breastfeeding mom. Madali lang kasi. Diba? Salpak mo lang siya dyan. And tatahimik na. And wala masyadong kailangang props or any distractions for the baby para mag-calm down. Minsan yung simpleng buhat and sway-sway, okay na. Um, one tip though, yung nabasa ko, sabi nila, um, para ma iwasan kay baby yung, yung nagpa-pop yung ears o yung parang yung pressure, kapag take off and landing, put them on your breast. Sabi nila, it will help. So, although not 100% of the time, nagawa ko yun kay Zeb, kasi not all the time naman na by the time na landing or take off, eh, gutom siya. So, but, I apologize for the sounds sa background, okay? Anyway, um, anto, so, pero, yun, so far, wala naman akong na, na observe na fussiness or whatever kay Zeb every time magti take off or landing. So, I'm not really sure if that is 100% effective yung ipapa breastfeed mo kasi kahit hindi ko siya bin breastfeed, wala din naman akong nakuha any um, parang ano reaction from Zeb pagka nag during flight uh, take off and landing. So, yeah, pero um, be just be on the safe side, baka makatulong, baka nga nakakatulong nga naman. You try to breastfeed the baby. I'm not sure if from the bottle is the same but yeah and then <clears throat> the next flight he was five months old and then yung pabalik namin he was seven months old um five months is still okay he started crawling kasi six months and yung medyo nakakatayo-tayo na, alam mo yun, not really tayo on his own, pero yung na-stretch niya na yung legs niya talaga, and yung curious na siya na makikita yung mga nasa paligid. So, um, yan, medyo, it can be a bit um, challenging na, pero okay, carry pa din, walang maging problema. Um, you just we just bring lang mga toys, yung mga favorite toys niya na gusto niya, mga stuffed toy or mga anything na pwede niyang laro-laruin during the flight. So, so far nga, um, since we we have just been traveling Philippines, Singapore, Philippines, Singapore, back and forth, um, that is roughly three, three and a half hours, depends, may four hours. So, yun pa lang yung maximum time na nasa flight si Zeb so far. Okay. And then, um, when come December last year, I flew alone. Okay. Um, flying with a baby, I think, is easier than flying with a toddler. So, ito na, nung time na, ano, well, hindi pa siya toddler, pero he was only 10 months old. And lumipad ako mag-isa. Hindi na kami nasundo ni daddy that time. That was December. Um, ayun, medyo mahirap na. <laughs> Kasi malikot na si Zeb. Although, hindi pa siya nakakalakad. Pero nakakaupo na siya mag-isa. So, minsan may times na gusto niya nakaupo siya ng sarili niya. But since 
free pa lang sila, di ba? Hindi namin siya kinuha, hindi pa namin siya kinukuha ng sarili niyang seat. Although that time, yung um, seat beside me was available. So, yun, lumilipat siya. Gusto niya nakaubo siya ng kusa. Minsan, bumababa siya. Um, although, hindi pa siya nakakalakad. Yung nakakatayo siya na nakahawak, um, yun, medyo tricky na or medyo ano na sa akin. It was a challenging experience um, for me nung mag-isa lang ako sa kanya kasi ayun, we, we try, I try to bribe him na with snacks na. So, by that time, he was 10 months old. Kumakain na siya ng solids kasi diba, less than 6 months, wala pa siyang solids. So, all breast, breast milk lang naman yung ino-offer ko sa kanya or namin sa kanya. So, by the time na kumakain na siya ng solid food, we bring snacks along. Like, yung pinakita ko on my first Mommy Monday, yung um, Happy Puff, yun yung unang-una niyang na, na, ano eh, nakilalang snack. So, we make sure na during my flight, may dala kaming Happy Puff or any other snacks na for now. Um, and then, um, what else? So, itong recent flight namin, he was already 14 months old. Eh, ito na yung talagang nakakalakad na talaga siya. So, yun, medyo mas mahirap na. Kasi, yun yung gusto nang lumakad sa aisle. And also, ito yung mga tips na sasabihin ko based on experience. So, first of all, um, your flight. Malaking factor yung oras ng lipad. Um, so, sa amin, sa seven times na lumipad na si Zeb, we have tried yung gabi, we have tried the afternoon, we have tried morning flights. Okay? So, kung kung magiging practical lang, we would want to fly at night kasi mas mura yung flight sa gabi. Mga madaling araw na flight, 12 o'clock, 11, ganun. But, sa akin, maybe we will not do that again kasi when we try that, Kasi iniisip namin, okay, gabi naman para tulog siya. And, hindi. <laughs> Medyo mahirap kasi, um, yun nga, eh, time na ng tulog niya, hindi siya komportable. Nabuhat-buhat mo lang siya, nakaupo lang siya sa lap mo. So, mas naiinis sila, mas fussy. Humakatulog man, tapos magigising. So, yun, mas, ano, mas, kahit naman ikaw, diba, natulog ka, tapos nagising ka. <laughs> Um, maiinis ka. So, try to avoid na lang yung night flies or yung talagang um, sa gabing tulog niya. Okay lang sa akin or okay lang sa kanya so far yung mga hapon or yung flights na sakto sa nap time. So, yun sa nap time parang mas scary kasi nap time naman is saglit lang siya mag-nap mga 1 hour, 1 and a half hours. So, Kung makakatulog man siya, okay lang na magising siya ulit. Kasi nap nga lang yun. Unlike nyo sa gabi na supposedly dire-diretso yung tulog niya na hindi niya magawa. So, yun. Um, morning flights is okay din as long as yun niya, timing sa nap para kahit pa paano, meron siyang tulog sa flight at hindi siya the whole time gising at naglalaro or nag-iingay and nang-i-storm ng mga kapitbahay na pasahero. So, yun. Number two. So, yun. First of all, yung time ng flight nyo, itiming nyo sa nap ni baby. Number two, um, kung hindi man timing sa, uh, timing sa nap time, um, try to exhaust them. Paguri nyo while you're waiting for your flight, while waiting for boarding. Kasi, syempre, maaga naman kayong pupunta sa airport, ba? So, um, give some time din sa sarili nyo para makapag-ilikot-likot si baby, makapag-ikot, makapag-takbo, para by the time ng flight, pagod. So, medyo makaka-knock out din siya kahit pa paano. And then, um, number three, of course, bring your distractions. So, lahat pa kasi huwag ang toys yan, anumang mga trucks, kay Zeb doon, kasi meron siya, may hili siya doon sa cars car, so yun yung dala namin. And, snacks. So, yun way of distracting nga din. Either toys or pagkain. Um, sa toys, maybe suggestion, kapag medyo malaki-laki na, 
pagkakaya na nila na humawak ng mga colors colors yan pwede na kayo magdala ng I haven't tried this yet actually so, um, but on our next flight back home maybe by August yun magdadala ako ng coloring books and colors na washable para kung mag color man siya dun sa table ng aeroplano mapupunasan ng wet wipes so yun um, another ano tip siguro you can bring um, coloring books para um, para ma busy sila and yun, yung iba sticker books and hindi pa naman siya maano sa sticker and parang pang mga mostly pang babae yung mga sticker stickers eh ewan ko ah so parang hindi ko ma-imagine si Zeb pero we'll see pero yun yun ang iniisip ko for the next flight is bring coloring books na kay Zeb and then ano pala fourth is yung seat selection yung uupuan nyo din as much as possible kami nung mga flights namin we try to choose yung paano kung pasasabihin yun yung seat na ang nas wala kaming ano sa unahan um, walang chair sa unahan parang yung wall lang or divider okay usually when we book a flight yung sa Cebu Pacific pa lang naman niya yeah, Cebu Pacific pa lang nakakasakay si Zeb um, we book yung or we choose yung seat dun sa gitna um, di ba yung Cebu Pacific meron silang planes na malalaki na um, nine nine rows so tatlo 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 ya yeah, to <laughs> tatlong uh, seat as aisle tatlong seat aisle tas tatlong seat as window so doon kami nag ngayong malaki na si Zeb doon kami nagbubuk sa gitnang aisle and yung walang chair sa unahan para maluwag yung space nung baby si Zeb okay lang kahit saan hindi kami nang seat selection kahit nasa window seat kami or what pero ngayong malaki na siya in malikot na we try to book either yung pinakalikod or yung pinaka yung hindi naman siya pinakaunahan pero yung kasi may divider pa yun eh so yung seat na walang tao sa front para mas maluwag yung area just in case gusto ni Zeb bumaba or gusto niya umupo sa sahig kasi kapag um, merong chair sa unahan hindi makakaupo ka sa sahig kung makaupo man super sikip so ayun so we just choose that seat para more convenient for us and more room to play for Zeb the fifth the last tip or the last thing that you need to bring with you when you're flying with a baby is patience and a lot of it <laughs> kasi talagang merong times na kahit kami kahit may dala na kaming lahat na nang pwede naming dalhin props para i-distract si baby or lahat na ng food and meron meron at meron time talaga na mas gusto niyang mag-wander around, mas gusto niyang makita yung katabi mo or ay yung nasa likod mo, nasa katabi or katapat. So, just let them be. Wala na tayong magagawa eh. Mag-sorry na lang tayo sa mga kapwa natin passenger kasi baby yan, wala tayong magagawa talaga. Um pag umiiyak si Zeb minsan um dinadala ko sa CR actually <laughs> kasi para mas makontain yung yung ingay tsaka minsan papakita, papakita ko sa mirror lalo nung medyo, medyo bata pa siya diba may ano pa sila sa reflection sa mirror parang feeling nila may another baby so ayun dun dinadala ko tapos minsan yung changing table kasi dun sa CR pwede mo siyang ibaba tapos pinuupo ko siya dun laro laro kami whatever pero minsan talaga walang makakapagkalma sa kanila. Lalo na kapag yung nagising sila sa tulog, yung na-store yung, yung hindi sila makatulog ng maayos. Yun, doon talaga mahirap. So, try to avoid yung night flight. <laughs> And, yeah. So, yun. Yun lang ang aking tips for flying with a toddler. If you have any more tips kung mga nanonood dyan ng mommies na Maraming experience flying with a baby or a toddler. Leave them down below para makatulang sa ating mga fellow mommies. And yeah, I hope medyo may napulot kayong aral sa video na to. And 
Kung meron pa kayong mga suggestions for topics for future Mommy Mondays, leave them down below, guys. Kasi mauubusan ako ng topic. <laughs> Baka hindi ko na ito magawa every week. So, yun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.